Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Greg Haney. This is my buddy John. Hi, I'm John. So we just did a session in the Music Exploratorium <coughs> here in Webster Groves. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got to practice my vocals and my clean ones were actually in tune. Yeah, you just <laughs> you just sang your, your heart out on a mm -hmm. uh, tune by John Denver, Take Me Home Country Roads. Yeah, I, I've heard the song before and uh, yeah, it's... I, I love my mama just like he does. <laughs> the, the mountain mama, I tell you what. Uh, so we were talking about 1960s folk music, uh, especially <clears throat> surrounding the song uh, Mrs. Robinson mm -hmm. by uh, Simon and Garfunkel. So what we did in the studio is we did a adaptation. Mm -hmm. So in the studio, we always have adaptations on our musical mm -hmm. instruments for um, participants to be able to immediately play along with the songs that we do in the music exploratorium. So our uh, adaptation that we did today was what, do you remember? Um, I think it was a different song, honestly, and uh, we, we kind of uh, improvised on the lyrics. Okay, that was at the beginning of the session. I'm thinking of that Joni Mitchell song. Oh, okay. Remember I was talking about adaptations with that? Yeah, yeah. Because Joni Mitchell had had to have adaptations for her, her instruments too even though mm -hmm. she's absolutely you know incredibly amazing she had polio as a child so she couldn't hold down oh big yellow taxi that that's yeah, what it was yeah big best. yellow taxi <laughs> so she had polio as a child and so she had nerve damage in her hands so mm -hmm. she didn't have very strong left hand now you're a lefty yep so that would be like you not having a very strong right hand right playing hand, guitar yeah. right <clears throat> um so what she had to do is what did she have to do to the guitar she had to uh, tune tune it in a way where uh, where it play an open chord if you don't play anything on it like very if nice. you don't have any hands on the frets. Mm -hmm. Very cool. <coughs> so she tuned it to an open Her chord. Fingers on the frets. <coughs> yeah. So uh, this is tuned to open D, but I have a capo on the second fret. For, so we have an E major chord. So uh, big yellow taxi, you can play just like this. <laughs> in a swinging hot spot Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone The day paradise put up a parking lot And so on. Okay? Nice singing, John. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That was cool. Uh, I've, I've been... I, ironically, I've actually... What helped me work do well on my clean vocals is actually I tried the the um, false you know the false chord vocals that I demonstrated in a previous video here we go previous podcast so get ready <laughs> it requires some diaphragm uh, control and you know a lot of, and some breath support sure to, to do so yeah. That, that's what um, so that's how you practice to sing the, yeah, the, the clean the, vocals of yeah, the, Joni Mitchell yeah the the um, diaphragm control really does help with the, it's the same technique you're just with the with the growls like death metal vocals you're using your folds above your actual vocal folds and then with your clean vocals you're using your clean one you're, oh, you're, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're using man. your actual vocal folds to yeah, sing. yeah. Sweet. That's kind of like Tibetan <clears throat> throat singing. You ever heard of that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I you, you showed me to, how to do that, but I I couldn't remember how to, how to, how to do it afterwards. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> but it's fun. And it's, it's easier to do false chord things than uh, than like that. <laughs> For sure. Uh, okay, so we did uh, we did Big Yellow Taxi, and that was with the altered tuning. But then it also fit with the song of the day, which is Mrs. Robinson. Love you more than 
the whole tune w with an open tuning like that. But what we did was we had it in an open tuning and then our participants could play the root chord, which is like E right there. Yeah. And if they're playing along with it and strumming, they're doing great. They're doing an awesome job and they're being a part of the performance, which is hugely important for anybody that comes into the mm -hmm. music exploratory. And we involve everybody mm -hmm. in every performance, right, John? Yeah, we do. Darn tootin'. Very cool. Everyone deserves a chance to participate, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> um, and, uh, okay, so we also kind of started out the session with a tune by Bob Dylan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one that I was talking about at the beginning. <laughs> right. Uh, and the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Yeah, blowing in the wind, that's what it was. We, uh, we improvised uh, some of the lyrics. Uh, for me, um, we... I kind of themed the improvisation to uh, to love is the answer that's blowing in the wind. Okay, yeah, and that's certainly one interpretation, right? Yeah, I, it's, I, it's it's kind of inspired by because I'm I'm honestly Catholic, so I, okay. I love a lot of those uh -huh. messages. So it's kind of inspired by that. Yeah, without yeah. getting uh, too uh, too, too in religious the on you. Yeah, no no worries, no worries. <laughs> Don't worry, you're free to be happy. Do yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, we're not pushing anything on anybody. No. All right, so you can do that with the open tuning too. right here yeah you know, i wish i had one of those honestly yeah there's i have a harmonica but i apparently they're on amazon but i i was today years old when i found that out yeah and so that you can find them on amazon.com do you remember the name of this harmonica holder uh honestly i don't it's called a harmonica holder yeah it's pretty simple yeah i'm i'm bad with names and i'm honestly i'm i'm bad with like memorizing like names for different things no worries bro it's all good <laughs> so like uh you can play along with it and this is another mm -hmm. adaptation you don't have to hold on to the harmonica you can have it right in front of you <laughs> and folk musicians discovered they could be a full band with this <clears throat> with this thing they have that lead right there and then you got your harmony with the guitar and then your voice and that's all you need to do folk music <laughs> So we were able to deliver a performance that for the participants, and I think mm -hmm. everybody had a good time. Yeah. What do you think? Honestly, uh, I know I had a good time uh, come improvising on that one verse. Yeah, yeah, and you did a good job with the dance movement activity too. Thank you. Yeah, I was mostly improvising on that too. <laughs> uh huh. And that's totally fine. You, that's encouraged in the music mm -hmm. exploratory. Yeah, movement. even. In in jazz, um, especially, you know, they uh, they they have things like that in jazz where you can improvise. Even in blues, I think they have scales and all that. Yeah. Either way, you can. I got a joke. Improvisa improvisation's good for music. Playing random notes on the guitar or something. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I got a joke. Okay. 
How come a fish is really good at music? Let me guess, I went to school. Ah, that's <laughs> pretty good at, yeah, that's perfect. I was gonna say, they know all the scales. Yeah, that's, a, that's another good answer. It's not bad, yeah. <laughs> They went to school, music school. Yeah, school of fish. Yeah, that's clever. Clever, John. <laughs> all right, so. I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's our little recap of our session today. I think it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. the movement activity. We did, um, we did the dance crazes of the 1960s. So we worked on the twist. Yeah. Easy, right? You just kind of twist your hips and kind of move. Yeah, honestly, I learned that as a kid, so that was cool to yeah. get to do that. Again. Yeah, yeah. And then you got the swim. <laughs> yeah. There was the Watu C, the jerk. Yeah, the big one I remember is from when what I was taught when I was a kid was the twist because in uh, the, I don't know whether you remember this, in the Spider Man, uh, in the Tobey Maguire Spider Man trilogy, there you know, they. They have seen where some characters did the twist. Nice. You know. So that's a good <coughs> good recall right there. Very yeah. nice. All right, so that's uh yeah, we did the Watusi we did in there, the the jerk, the um the dog Watusi. Mm -hmm. So we worked on all those dance moves and uh here in the exploratorium we adapt all <coughs> the movements and individualize for the participants to Meet them at their level yeah. and try to build them up. So, yeah. you know, like simple movements, like put your arm out, put yeah. your other arm out, all that stuff. And you can do that with that those easy, simple dances mm -hmm. from the, the 60s. It was really, yeah. seemed like a really fun time to be alive. Yeah. So, unfortunately, uh, that was way before my time, honestly. It was a few years ago. <clears throat> but the spirit is still there, John. Yeah. It is. Spirit is still there and we can make it. We can allow it to come alive here in the Music Exploratorium, yeah. the feel of the folk music of the 1960s. So join us next time here yeah. at the Music Exploratorium by Different Dynamics. Peace. Peace.